How to Row with George Griffith. Rowing is a full body movement, which is why, why it's such a good cardiovascular exercise, right? Rowing is full body, as you say, total body, but in distribution of power is not exactly equal, okay? So if we had to break it down into percentages, we want about 60% of the power coming from your legs, 20% of the power coming from your core, and then the other 20% coming from your arms. So you don't want to be here, because you can't really maintain that upper body um, strength for very long. You should adjust the foot strap so that when it locks in, and you're in the full catch position, your knees are allowing your arms to be pretty much horizontal to the floor. So for some people, they might need for me, for example, I don't want to be bumping into my knees with my arms horizontal, so I might want to drop this a little bit, keep it fairly low down, um, depending on how, how I want to roll. Some people like to get right in, so a real strong cast position with the heels coming almost all the way off the machine. This is a personal preference. Um, me personally, I prefer to keep my arms fairly straight, and so I want to adjust my position so that in a full cast position, my knees aren't getting in the way of my arms. Now all of us come all the way in to pretty much full flexion. So based on your level of comfort, some people might come here, in which case you can have a higher setup based on your own position. So once you set up the, uh, the strap and you lock in, this is going to be your position and we're going to move from here. Think about where your arms are in relation to your knees. And if you find, you find your knees getting in the way, based on your range of motion, adjust the foot strap down. If you feel that you can get in even further, then adjust the foot strap up. Yes? So everybody, um, everybody get in. So, <laughs> adjust the foot, the foot strap and see how you feel coming forward. Oops. You need to start again with your arms, drop the strap a little bit. 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, 11 o'clock. That's as far as we're going with your upper body. We're going to start at the 12 o'clock position. Then we go forward, just after the cat, just we're going to go into 1 o'clock. Then we come back and go into 11 o'clock. So it's not... Start with the spine? The that's with your upper body, your whole upper body. So we're not having a large trunk flexion or extension or hip flexion, I should say. We're not leaning far forward. We're not leaning all the way back. We're either at 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, or 11 o'clock. In that range. So that's about 5 or 10 degrees forward from vertical and the other way from vertical and going back. So not a big reach forward. We're really pretty much upright. Okay? So we'll stand upright with the arms holding onto the bar. So we'll start back here. Legs straight. And that's what just small strips for the arms. Just real small strips for the arms. Small. And go all the way out. Nice steady rhythm, nice and smooth. Full range, full range, full range, and pause. Okay, so now, then we, there's a sequence, right? On the recovery, it's going to be upper body, core, then legs. On the recovery, which is where we're moving forward. Yes? That's what we call a recovery position. So the upper body, then core, then legs. So that's the upper body part. So now we're just going to add that five degrees, five to ten degrees of flexion when we come to one o'clock on the clock. Yes? So let's start with the arms again. Full range with the arms. Forward, back. Forward, back. Forward. So all we're doing now is arms and core. Legs are still stiff. Arms and core. So five degrees moving forward. Five degrees in the back, and we try to keep that bar traveling horizontal. Sequence is really important. What's the sequence? Up, arm, up, arms, up, arm, then core. 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 All right, so arms, then core. On the way back, core, then arms. So we're not leaning until those arms are fully extended. So let's try again. Arms, arms, just arms. Just arms. So your arms fully extended. The arms fully extended. Full range, full, full stroke with just the arms. And the who Jay Blanick is. Jay Blanick is a super, super bright guy, excellent uh, presenter. And the thing, the, the, the method he uses is power 
patience, patience. It's power, patience, patience. Power, patience, patience. So it's a one to two timing. One on the way back, two counts on the way forward. So set up your displays to go to um, select workout, select distance, program it to a thousand meters. So go back to like menu back to new workout, and then we're going to single distance, and then we use this here to adjust the distance. So we bring this down to a thousand, and when it's at a thousand, we go to the back. Once you get where you want it, you, you move it on to the next one. It's down to zero, and then you put that one for a thousand. Everybody, let me tell you what you want. It's called Small, and it's named after a veteran who lost his life in the war. It starts with a thousand meters rowing, 50 burpees, five zero burpees, five zero box jumps. So let me tell you where the 800 meter run is. We're gonna do two rounds. Now normally small, normally small is five rounds, so you know how fit these special forces guys are, right? Today we're just gonna do two rounds. for a great workout, you think you're you know, not going to be able to finish, but at the end, you know, it's that energy that is around and you know the other participants finishing, so you know that you have to finish as well, so I guess you feed from everybody else's. 
So great, great, great.